Hello, and thank you for watching this July 6 weather update brought to you by Agripol, the makers of Morning Farm Report. My name is Eric Snodgrass, and I'm a senior atmospheric scientist and co-founder of Agripol. Before we look into the weather for this week, let's take a look at how June weather compared to climatology. This map shows the June 2015 precipitation rank by climate district using data that stretches back to the late 1800s. Numerous crop reporting districts across Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan had one of their top five wettest Junes on record. As we have been reporting, the majority of the cropland in these areas has been draining, but low-lying, known wet spots have either been a complete loss or will suffer dramatic drops in yield. Although Illinois looks to be the hardest hit, Missouri and Indiana are reporting the most trouble with the 2015 crop. Here we are looking at the June 28 crop conditions for Indiana, Missouri, and Illinois, which were the hardest hit states in the previous image. We can clearly see that in addition to having millions of unplanted acres, significant percentages of both corn and beans fall below the good rating. As a lot of these low ratings are due to abundant moisture, nutrient loss will be an issue moving forward with this growing season. Additionally, it would be wise to scout for mold as there have been reports of mold and other foliar issues across the Corn Belt. On a more positive note, Illinois corn is performing well due to great planting additions that allowed the crop to establish decent root structure. Iowa is performing significantly better, with 83% of corn and 80% of beans rated as good to excellent. Finally, these reports are part of the reason why the December corn has stayed above $4 now for over a week, and November beans are now consistently trading above $10. As of midday on Monday, the upper Midwest is dealing with a large area of unsettled weather. As these showers and storms push through Minnesota, several inches of rain fell, producing some local flash flooding. Behind the cold front that is helping force these showers and storms, cooler temperatures will prevail through midweek as higher air pressure builds into the upper Midwest. Higher air pressure will bring drier weather to this region as well. Here is an animation of the surface air temperatures this week. Notice that a large part of the corn belt will be free of heat stress as portions of the corn crop reach their reproductive stages. By contrast, the southern half of the United States will routinely see 85 plus degree temperatures this week. In fact, the southeast and south central parts of the United States will potentially see mid 90s and above toward the end of the week. So let's turn our attention back to the precipitation forecast for this week. The rain that is pushing through Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin moves into Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri on Tuesday and Wednesday. But the real concern is for excessive precipitation from Oklahoma through Missouri later this week. The front that is moving through the upper Midwest on Monday stalls across Oklahoma, Missouri, and serves as a persistent source of lift in the atmosphere. As a result, several inches of rain are expected later this week in this region, before a weak low-pressure system forms here and moves off to the east. The problem is that this rain is once again having a negative impact on the already stressed growing season in Missouri. To finish this video, let's look into the next week at the 8-14 to 14 day temperature and precipitation forecasts. This time in July is one of the most sensitive times of the year for corn as heat stress can, can destroy the crop. We know that this week the extreme heat is kept in the far south and thankfully extended forecasts suggest near normal or slightly cooler than normal temperatures to start next week. In terms of precipitation, the southern plains are forecast to be drier than normal while the northern tier of the country has a higher than normal probability of staying wet. As always, we at Agrib will bring you the latest and best weather forecast information through our morning farm report so that you can efficiently plan your operations. We thank you for your attention and hope you look forward to our next weather video update. Thank you.